Okay, I'm gonna have to warn you about this. This is gonna be a very terrible story in my opinion. I, I, I mean, this story has poorly drawn screenshots and... Uh -uh. This is gonna be one of the worst creepypastas I would ever narrate. Anyways, let's get back. <laughs> <clears throat> so if you thought my encounters with Windows code names like Hoover, Bobcat, Colorado, and Sunfire weren't bad enough, this one gets way creepier and scarier. My name is David. Let me tell you the story of how I found the OS. I was sitting in my living room, enjoying a plate of hot dogs and buns and sipping flavored water. It was a lazy afternoon. I had nothing better to do than to scroll through my laptop, searching for something interesting. Just when I was about to give up, I stumbled upon something intriguing. A software package called Windows VeggieTales Edition. Being a fan of VeggieTales, I couldn't contain my excitement. I raced onto my bedroom, clutching the package in my hand, ready to install it on my trusty old E-Machines E1. Carefully, I inserted the CD and waited with bated breath as the pop-up, as the Windows pop-up appeared. And without a moment's hesitation, I clicked the yes button. Surprisingly, the installation process was fast and hassle-free. With a sense of anticipation, I restarted my computer. As the screen came to life, I was greeted by the familiar Windows 2000 boot screen. Except the usual Windows logo had been amusingly replaced by Bob the Tomato, sporting his signature VeggieTales smile. The VeggieTales themed wallpaper uh, adorned my desktop. Hold up. The VeggieTales themed wallpaper adorned my desktop, adding a delightful touch to my computer screen. Eager to explore further, I opened up Internet Explorer and was pleasantly surprised to find that a picture of Bob and Larry, the iconic duo, graced the new tab window. <coughs> I couldn't resist clicking on the VeggieTales website, expecting a cheerful and wholesome browsing experience. <coughs> to my shock, however, the website seemed to have gone awry. The once bright and colorful images of VeggieTales, <coughs> VeggieTales characters now appeared twisted and distorted, <coughs> sending a shiver down my spine. Bob, Larry, and Junior were no longer the cheerful animated vegetables I once knew. They had become dark, horrifying visions of themselves, their eyes hollow, their bodies contorted in ways that defied logic. The message read, David, you have trespassed into a realm beyond your comprehension. You seek answers, but the truth is a dangerous path to tread. Turn back now before it consumes you. <coughs> Trembling, I feared. F I fumbled for the power button on my computer, desperate to escape the haunting words that seemed to follow and taunt me. Chill ran down my spine as the eerie voice resurfaced from the speakers. You cannot escape, David. It whispered, sending shivers down my spine. You have awakened something ancient and malevolent. The voice grew stronger, filling the room with its otherworldly resonance. We are the embodiment of forgotten nightmares, the dark secrets that linger in the recesses of your mind. We are here to show you the true face of your fears. <clears throat> Paralyzed with fear, I watched in horror as the twisted VeggieTales characters moved beyond the screen and into the room. Their monstrous forms towered over me, their jagged limbs extending in unthinkable directions. They surrounded me. Their haunting eyes locked into mine. I opened the video player and began watching an episode of Bluey. 
a lovable little blue healer known for her antics and infectious laughter. The show started off just like any other, bringing a smile to my face. But as Bluey danced across the screen, a sudden change occurred. Without warning, the video froze, and a deep red mist started swirling around Bluey. Her eyes transformed into the unsettling gaze, yes, the same one that was seen on the VeggieTales website. It was as if the two worlds had collided, the innocent Bluey caught in the sinister grasp of VeggieTales. In a haunting voice, Bluey pleaded with me to uninstall the VeggieTales OS before it was too late. And... And intrigued yet unnerved, I clicked on the next video, hoping for a different outcome. This time, I chose a uh, scene from Pixar's Cars. Nothing more than a light-hearted narrative adventure. But as the movie played, Mater's voice morphed into something malevolent. His eyes mirrored Bluey's, and his gaping mouth seemed to stretch to unnatural proportions. Mater later, Mater later joined Bluey in their desperate plea, begging for me to rid my system of this ominous operating system. <laughs> Undeterred by the unsettling experiences, I decided to give it one last chance. I clicked on an episode of VeggieTales, Rock, Shock, and Benny. The familiar characters appeared on the screen, and for a while it seemed like a typical episode. However, just as the story reached its climax, an air message flashed across the screen, casting a shadow over the vibrant animation. Unnerved but determined to carry on. I closed the ear message and attempted to play the Veggie Tales PC game, <laughs> Veggie Carnival. <laughs> to my dismay, the game crashed immediately upon launching. I tried again, hoping it was a mere glitch, but the result remained the same. Frustration mingled with concern as I realized that this seemingly harmless codename had caused more harm than anticipated. With a heavy sigh, I decided it was time to make a choice. The warnings from Bluey, Mater, and the corrupted game had left an inedible, an inedible mark on me. Reluctantly, I uninstalled the VeggieTales operating system, hoping it would put an end to the strangeness that had invaded my computer. <sighs> Unfortunately, the damage had already been done. As I rebooted my system, the BIOS of my E-Machines E1 became corrupted and irreparable. I was left with no choice but to venture out and purchase a new machine, haunted by the strange happenings unleashed by an innocent-sounding codename. So remember, please don't trust any Windows codename, no matter how good it sounds.